Have you ever wondered how cars go super fast or how a strong a machine can be? Well, one way to measure that is through a fun unit called horsepower. No, we don't use actual horses to power our cars, but these measurements helps us understand how powerful machines are. Don't forget, please subscribe to our channel and leave comments to show your support and engagement. Your subscription allows us to continue creating valuable content for you and your comment helps us understand your thoughts and preferences better. Let's dive into the world of horsepower and I promise it's not as confusing as it sounds. Horsepower is a unit that tells us how much work a machine like a car or a lawnmower can do. To make it easier to understand, let's imagine a horse running on a treadmill. How fast and how hard that horse can run represents its horsepower. So if you have a car with a lot of horsepower, it's like having a bunch of really fast and strong horses under the hood ready to push your car forward. The concept of horsepower was invented by a guy named James Watt way back in the 18th century. He was trying to sell steam engines and people back then could relate to the power of horses, so he used it as a comparison. Watt figured that one horse could do a certain amount of work, like lifting heavy coal out of a mine. So when he said a steam engine had X horsepower, people could easily understand that it was as powerful as having X number of horses doing the same work. Now you might be thinking, how does this relate to my car? Well, when you hear that a car has a certain amount of horsepower, it's a way to tell you how strong and fast that car can be. If you have a sports car with lots of horsepower, it's like having a bunch of energetic race horses pulling you along the road. They can take you from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just a few seconds. In general, a bigger engine in a car means more horsepower. The engine is like the heart of the car and a bigger engine can pump out more power just like how a fit and a strong horse can run faster and do more work. So when you see those big trucks on the highway, they usually have huge engines with a lot of horsepower to carry heavy loads. Now there is something important to know. Horsepower is different from another term you might have heard, torque. Torque is like the strength of the horse and horsepower is like the speed of the horse. In a car, torque helps you get moving from a stop, like how a strong horse can pull a heavy cart. Horsepower is what makes you go really fast once you are already moving. So a good car needs a balance of both torque and horsepower to be great at both starting and speeding up. Horsepower isn't just for cars and machines, it's a part of our everyday lives. 
For example, when you are using a blender in the kitchen, the number on the box might tell you the blender's horsepower. It helps you know how fast and powerful it is. And when you are buying a lawnmower, you can choose one with more or less horsepower, depending on the size of your lawn. People who love cars are often in a race for more horsepower. They like to make their cars faster and more powerful. They might add a special parts, change the engine, or even use turbochargers to get more horsepower. It's like a fun game where they try to have the fastest horse under the hood. So the next time you hear about horsepower, remember that it's all about the power and the speed of machines, not actual horses. It's a fun way to understand how a strong and fast a car or any other machine can be. And if you ever find yourself with a super fast car, just imagine a team of energetic race horses galloping under your hood, ready to take you on an exciting ride. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to stay updated with more informative content. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until next time, goodbye!